as usual, we start this problem by deciding upon our coordinate axes and drawing a free body diagram. This time we're going to use a cylindrical coordinate system where we have the Z axis acting vertically upwards and the R axis acting radially inwards. So let's ask ourselves what forces are actually acting on an occupant of the rotor. Well, first of all, there's the weight of the occupant acting vertically downwards and then upwards we have the static frictional force due to the surface of the rotor. P is the centripetal force exerted by the wall on the occupant causing him to move in a circle. Right, now let us look at our equations of motion. In the vertical direction, the resultant force is the friction force minus the weight, mg, and that must be equal to zero because there is no acceleration in the vertical direction. And therefore, the frictional force is just equal to the weight. But we also know that the frictional force is equal to the coefficient of friction times the normal reaction um, force between the occupant and the rotor. Now, in actual fact, that force is the same force as P. And therefore, the frictional force is equal to mu times P. And therefore, P is equal to the friction force divided by the coefficient of friction, which is just equal to mg divided by mu subscript s. Now consider the radial direction. In the radial direction, the resultant force is P. So that is equal to the mass of the occupant times their acceleration. Now their acceleration is the centripetal acceleration. So that is just equal to V squared over R. And it's acting in the radial direction. So we have the unit vector R as well. In magnitude terms, therefore, the centripetal force is equal to m v squared over r. Right, equating equation 1 and equation 2 now gives us m v squared over r is equal to m g over mu. Cancelling the m's gives us this equation that's just showing now. Rearranging the equation, we get that V is equal to the square root of G R over mu. If we put some numbers in, say the radius of our rotor is 2 meters and the coefficient of static friction is 0.4, that will give us a velocity of 7 meters per second and an angular speed of 3.5 radians per second.